Hi guys, welcome to this session in Libra Office Calc. In this module, I want to show you a couple of tips that you can do when using VLOOKUP. So on the left here, I've got a table. So I'll just make a little bit bigger. And I'm going to do a VLOOKUP in this cell. It's going to look at this code and then match it to this list of codes and tell me what the information is. So equals VLOOKUP. Open the bracket, click on the cell, do a comma, highlight the table, do a comma. Now it wants column, so I want second column, I'm doing description, so column two, comma, and then zero for an exact match, closing the bracket. So if I tick that, comes back with nuts, ABC is nuts. If I change that to a, B, D comes back with bolts. So I'll just undo that. So that's okay. Now, when I go to pull that across, what it's going to do at the minute is just move the cell references. So even though it looks like it's bringing the right information in, it's now looking at nuts. And because there's only one nuts, it's working okay. But if there was multiple nuts, it wouldn't be. So that's not great. And it's also moving the table across. Instead of column A, it's now saying B. And that one will say C. Look, so it's just moving across the cell references. And eventually that will go into blank cells if there was other columns. So that is not good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use names. If you don't use names, you'd have to be dollar signing that A4 and dollar signing that range as well. But I'm going to use names. So I'm going to click on there. I'm going to call that input, input, press and enter. So that's how you name a cell. And then I'm highlighting this whole table and calling that product, product, press and enter again. And then I'm going to change this completely to use the name. So it's going to be equals VLOOKUP. So now I can type input comma so it's looking at the product table so type product comma still looking at column two comma zero close the bracket click the tick still comes up with the same information but now i'm using names when i pull it across it's going to say nuts all the way across because I haven't changed the column number to a three and then to a four and then to a five. But the range is not changing. So it's still looking at input, still looking at product. So what I would have to do here, as it is at the minute, is change that to a three. So I'm making sure I change that to a three. I've got rid of the comma there. So the comma still needs to stay in there. Still have a comma and then tick that. And then that comes up with a one, which is one pound, which you would have to format to pound, which we'll do in a minute. This one then becomes a four. So I'm highlighting the two. We're trying to highlight the two. Putting a four there, making sure the commas are still there. Now that's not formatted to a date, but I'll just clone the date from this one. So change color as well, but it's the date. And then that becomes a five. Now, this is a very slow process as well, because if you had 50 columns, you'd be changing this 50 times. And I'm struggling getting to select the two up there as it is. Keep getting the comma, so it's comma, and this one would be five. And then ticking that. So it all works. Uh, I'll just clone that as well. But it's taking quite a little bit, quite a lot of time. So what you could do, if I just delete these ones, so just highlight this, delete, go back to the first one. Instead of saying two, what I could do is refer to a cell which has got a number two in it. I think I've got it there. So instead of that, I could click on this cell. So now it's got comma E2. And then that's got a two in it, so that'd be column two, 
as I pull it across, it'll be three, then four, then five. So if I tick that, pull it across, and it's worked okay. And if I click on that, that is looking at G2, which is a four, and that'll be looking at H2, which is a five. And again, if I just copy this, clone this, so it puts the right format in there for me, you can see that that is now working as I want it to be. You could also, instead of typing things in there, go to the data tab and put a, a validity list in there. You just basically cell range I'll select. And then this is the cell range I want. Click OK to that. And then that will be a list that you can select. And then every time you select something in the list, the VLOOKUP will tell you what that is, like so. So then you've got a tool that's useful and quick and easy to do. Now, if you've got columns, I taught a session the other day where they had, they wanted to say column two, then column 10, then column 15. You could link it to another sheet, but you could just do exactly the same, 2, 10, 15, 20, and so you're missing out lots of other columns. So as long as whatever these numbers are, it's going to return that number of columns. So it's just a quicker way of doing it. Um, it's totally up to you whether you want to do it like that or not. There are other ways of doing it as well with array formulas, but that's all I want to talk about in this little session, how you can create a VLOOKUP and then speed it up by adding a few little tips and tricks. So hopefully this little video is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.